Good day, I'm Akiola Alexander Dada, and my project deals with the modeling, simulation, and implementation of linear control for asymmetric multi rotor unmanned aerial vehicles. For some background, unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs are aerial systems that are not directly controlled by personnel on board the craft. There are many different kinds of UAVs that can be defined by their mechanical characteristics, like their methods of actuation. I'll be focusing on multi rotor UAVs, which possess multi rotor winged actuators. They have a wide range of applications, especially in any field that requires dexterous precise motion, like potentially agriculture or security surveillance. However, unlike their fixed-wing counterparts, they are inherently unstable in flight and thus require the, inter the intervention of complex control systems to be operable. This project was set around the design and control of multi-rotor UAVs. Therefore, in order to accomplish this, the project was split into two categories, the basic and the advanced. The basic objectives were set around the investigation of linear quadratic gaussian control, modeling, and the proposal of flight software. While the advanced objectives were set around investigating the applicability of model predictive control. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent government enforced lockdowns, there was no means for testing any implemented software on the actual UAV, therefore no work was undertaken towards actual software implementation. The UAV being used as the case study throughout this investigation is one of my own design, which is a Y6 hexarotor, which consists of three coaxial motor pairs and is geometrically asymmetric about its center of mass. The first section of this investigation deals with mathematical modeling which is required to understand UAV's characteristics. It is broken down into four stages, kinematics, kinetics, actuator identification, and linearization. And kinematics deals with UAV geometry and the relativity of motion. By using Euler angle transformations, we're able to define the UAV's velocities and positions in 3D Euclidean space. Kinetics deals with the forces and torques acting on the UAV. And through their resolution and aggregation using the Newton Euler convention, the UAV's dynamics can be populated. The process of actuator identification uses data derived from physical testing to extract input output information and then fit these onto models for implementation in the wider design. Data is extracted through the utilization of sensor test stands, which consists of RPM sensors and load cells. Through the implementation of kinematics, kinetics, and identification, a nonlinear model of the system is derived. However, linearization is performed in order to convert the model into a more amicable form to standard analysis techniques, which have been derived over decades to deal with linear systems. This is performed using the Jacobian method. The next section in the investigation is control. But first, the system needs to be discretized for the sake of implementability on embedded systems. Next, a stability analysis is performed through the utilization of Lyapunov's indirect method. Then the system's reachability, which is the ability of the system to be controlled, is checked. A full-state feedback controller is then derived by setting up and solving an optimization problem. The resultant controller is called the linear quadratic regulator. The linear quadratic regulator, or LQR, is then implanted with an integration element to enable reference tracking. The resulting controller is then implemented in the Simulink environment while including key elements of the embedded system's dynamics like the effects of sampling and quantization. The implementation of the LQR controller assumes access to the full state, however this is not the case. Many real-world systems only provide access to a limited set of state observations. Therefore, to utilize full state feedback, the system states must be derived from some set of limited state observations through some means. This is done through using a state estimator. However, it is found that due to the system's configuration and the particular set of system states available, that the system is unobservable i.e. it is not possible to determine the unique set of full states from the observations available. This can be rectified using more observed states through implementing more sensors, but another solution is possible. 
Through virtual estimation, the state estimator can be tricked, in essence, into treating the model as perfect and using it in lieu of the unobserved states. The state estimator implemented in this investigation is the Kalman filter, which is known as an optimal estimator. However, the standard Kalman filter has been modified to include nonlinear estimation, making it closer to an extended Kalman filter, while still using linear Kalman gains. This was done to minimize the error between the state estimations and the actual system states. In order to potentially implement the derived control systems onto a UAV, it must be set up on a digital embedded computer. In this investigation, the BeagleBone Blue Single Board Computer SBC, is selected as the case study. This is as it comes with many hardware and software features which make it amicable for control systems implementation. On the hardware side, it comes with a 3-axis MARGE, Magnetic Angular Rate Gravity Sensor, and a barometer, as well as PWM GPIO breakouts for motor control. On the software side, it comes with the Robot Control Library, which has many built-in features such as signal processing, common filtering, and sensor fusion algorithms, which enable the implementation of discrete-time feedback controllers. The proposed embedded system consists of three broad stages, the sensor stage which reads in the raw parameter and marge values, the sensor fusion stage which combines these values to produce the observed outputs, and the LQG stage which consists of the state estimator and the LQR gains derived. This proposed implementation is then flushed out in the UML format. The Unified Modeling Language or UML is an industry standard tool for representing software systems. The UML is usually used to represent systems written in an object-oriented fashion. However, due to sufficient encapsulation, despite the robot control library being written in C, I believe that UML representation is still valid. The presented UML diagram consists of five distinct function groups, which present functions extending from the robot control library to implement the proposed control system. Predictive control does not refer to any one specific algorithm, but instead a methodology to follow when creating control systems, and as such, there are many possible predictive control algorithms. A predictive control algorithm consists of three key features, prediction, authorization, and the receding horizon principle. A receding horizon adds feedback into predictive control as control sequences generated are continually updated at every single time step, taking in new information. One of the major features of predictive control implementations is the ability to handle constraints upon the system implicitly, thus taking these into account when determining control sequences. The predictive control implementation looked at through the course of this investigation is the LQMPC, which can also be known as dual mode MPC. This form of MPC seeks to mimic more closely the behavior of the LQR's infinite horizon by embedding the LQR cost into its optimization problem. This has the effect of guaranteeing the stability of the LQMPC implementation. This would not be the case otherwise, due to the complex relationship between the prediction horizon length and the optimization weights. Another further augmentation to the LQMPC is the addition of closed loop prediction. This embeds the stabilizing behavior of the LQR into the prediction matrices. This has the effect of helping with numerical conditioning, which is an issue to watch out for when embedding large matrices in, in low specs hardware, such as with the single board computers. The LQMPC is able to perform reference tracking by using deviation variables. In comparing the performance of the two control schemes, the LQG implementation was able to produce good performance to step input references whilst using minimal control effort. The unconstrained LQMPC performed worse, but this is to be expected as the LQMPC is a suboptimal form of control due to the lack of a true infinite horizon. This is in addition to having been tuned to a different set of weights to, co to compensate for the lack of a true integral term. However, when operating near constraints, an MPC implementation is, would be expected to perform much better than the LQG. In conclusion, future works would include developing a constrained LQMPC solution, 
implementing and testing the proposed flight control software, investigating non-linear forms of control, and giving the system full control authority over 3D Euclidean space.